I call the Honourable the Minister for Immigration and Border Protection. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and I thank the member for his question. Over my as, right. as he will be aware, I have just released the Cornell report, which goes into the full account as best as as able to be determined about what happened on that terrible and desist. tragic night. Now, in that report, you will find the detailed accounts from over 300 transferees who gave their account of what occurred that night, as well as many others who were involved in uh, providing services and various things on that evening. It is important that, through our partnership with the Papua New Guinea government, that we meet our objectives and we meet our undertakings to them to provide the support to ensure that that facility is well run and has all the appropriate safety in place. And it is important that we continue this policy, uh, Madam Speaker, because there seems to be an emerging theme here which is coming in this debate which says, because the boats are stopping, we can somehow ease off. And it's time that we maybe should relax the policies. Well, Madam Speaker, that's exactly the sort of thinking that I know that comes from the Greens and from many of those opposite, which led to the Howard government's measures being taken away in the first place and led to 50,000 people arriving on over 800 boats. It led to almost 1,200 deaths at sea that are not occurring now that are not occurring now because this government had the backbone to put in place the border protection policies that are saving thousands of lives. Now, the member for the Greens, Madam Speaker, may not know, may not know that on the 4th of September last year, a young man, an asylum seeker who was released into the community under the policies favoured by the Greens, was stabbed to death in his, in his apartment by another asylum seeker, allegedly, and I'm wondering if the, the member opposite is going to take responsibility for that. But I'm not asking him to, Madam Speaker. I'm not asking him to do that, as he has sought to imply that to this government today. This government, Madam Speaker, has taken the decisions that we needed to take on our borders that those, gov those opposite did not have the guts to do, that did not have the wit to do, that did not have the will to do. Men and as a result, Madam deceased. Speaker, it was cost, it was chaos, and it was tragedy. And that's what occurred, Madam Speaker, under the watch of those opposite, uh, ably supported and encouraged and pushed on by the Greens to drive them into the policies, Madam Speaker, that led to the carnage that occurred on, on their watch. And, Madam Speaker, I'd encourage everyone in this parliament to look at the report that we have released. And what you will see in there, Madam Speaker, was a policy that was announced by the previous government to which they were dragged kicking and screaming, and their implementation, as always, was just never up to the job.